Hey YouTube, how's it going? Today is the second day after my surgery and I am feeling sore today. I feel like I did like a full body workout and so my body is just sore but I'm not feeling any pain. I was actually able to stand up and walk to the chair today. So I'm sitting down right now. They're actually going to come get me and take me to the recovery house. So I'm waiting for that. But besides that, day two so far is okay. It's just I did get up and I swear I'm like an old person. You can't stand up straight or anything. And even I think if you try to, your body just won't let you. You're pulled so tight down there that you can't even stand up straight. I feel like... Like an old woman walking, but I'm ready to go to this recovery house. I'm ready to recuperate as fast as I can. I'm drinking lots and lots of water. I don't actually have that many bruising. I have a little bit, so they're going to try and put me in the oxygen chamber to help get rid of the little bit of bruising that I do have. They said that that'll help, so hopefully they'll give me that shit for free because I literally ran out of money. Like I have no more money. I had to see a pulmonologist. I would pay for an oxygen therapy, then I had to pay for blood transfusion because I actually needed it. I lost a lot of blood. But besides that, I'm totally fine. Just waiting to get up and go. I wish I can show you. I wish maybe I can show you my dreams. I actually have three dreams. Some people get two, some people get three, but like I said, they lost quite a bit of blood. I think this is, I don't know which one it is, one of these is the top one, the top one that should be taken out soon because that's just, that one they put it in just in case, it's not like I really needed it, so then that one's actually draining from the top up here, but like I said, it's really not doing much because I'm not losing a lot of blood up there, but um, every time they do clean it out, it's like 100 cc's of blood. And in order for me to get the drain removed completely, I have to have it at least 50 cc's. Yeah, at least 50 cc's for 24 hours straight. <clears throat> so, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go home with this drain, so I have to do it by myself. Which is fine, because I've seen YouTube videos on how to do it, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But besides that, I'm good. Like, I don't really feel much pain. Um, I did actually tell the doctor, or the doctor recommended that um, I put a little bit of fat on the bottom of my um, the bottom of my butt because you know I have booty, but the bottom of my butt's kind of like dwindling. <laughs> so I, she did do that for me, and I haven't seen what it looks like, but she said it came out well. And then she actually said she injected some in my hips, which I didn't ask for that at all. Um, she said that was extra and she just did it so like extra work that she did not that I had to pay extra for it so I was like alright well that would make me look pretty but I feel good uh, I think my nurses are going to come in now and take me so I'll give you guys an update in maybe a couple hours I'll let you know how I'm doing for day <clears throat> day two okay bye guys I just want to show you how I'm standing up. Forgive me. How you can't see much, but I'm literally just like leaning over. Just leaning over. My boobs are like hanging down. Mind you, I had a reduction in lift, but they're hanging down because that's how low. I have to be, I can't straighten up because one, I'm not supposed to, and two, I can't. But I know it'll, it'll loosen up a little bit in a couple of days, but from what I could feel from my size, they feel so much smaller. So much smaller. Let me, let me hit that my key. Oh, wait, that's another wrong pillow. I have it sitting on a pillow, and two for my back. Oh, that's a lot of work. It's funny. I have um. I'm 
my pee. And I still got the urges to pee. It's so weird. I get the urge to pee and then all of a sudden it'll go away. So, and I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm filling up my bag. I'm filling my bag up because I'm drinking so much water. I told was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep bringing it to me because I know water is gonna help me with my sweating and help me recover faster. So when I go to the recovery house, I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna need at least eight bottles of water on my table. That's all I'm gonna ask for because I'm not trying to be, you know, mean or anything, but eight bottles of water by my table so as I can, so I can drink as I go on because I also, as you can see, have IV. But I still feel thirsty. So that's why I'm drinking water on top of it. But I'm good. I have my faha on. Can't really show you because I don't have like a bra on, but they didn't put it they didn't close it all the way up. Like they closed it up to like the top part of my stomach, but they didn't like come almost the top part of my stomach. But there's like one, two, three, four, five, six of the buckles that are left undone. Just not with me, I don't care. My concern is when they put that stage two for hot, that is gonna hurt because this one already feels tight and the stage two one is ridiculously tight. I tried it on before I left, so <sighs> we'll see how everything goes, so let you guys know, stay tuned.